we will be looking at our math review problems. This is for the week of 20 through 24th of October. Remember, you will work problems 1 through 4 on Monday, 5 through 8 on Tuesday, 9 through 12 on Wednesday, and 13 through 16 on Thursday. We will look at um, Monday and Tuesday problems in this video. First problem number 2. 1 and a half minus 9 and 4 fifths. First, we notice that the larger number is being subtracted, so we should expect that our difference will be negative. All right, converting both numbers, both mixed numbers, to improper fractions. 1 times 2 is 2, plus 1 is 3. 1 and a half is equal to 3 over 2, minus. 9 and 4 fifths, 9 times 5 is 45, plus 4 is 49, 49 over 5. So we have 3 and a half minus 49 over 5. We will employ our keep change change rule when we're dealing with subtraction of integers, keeping 3 halves the same, changing an addition, subtraction to an addition, changing the sign of the second term. We must have a common denominator. When we're adding or subtracting, we need a common denominator. What is the common denominator between 2 and 5? It is 10. One way to find a common denominator is to simply multiply the two numbers together. So, consider 2 times what number is 10? Well, times 5. Since we multiplied the denominator by 5, we must multiply the numerator by 5 as well. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 over 2 is equal to 15 over 10, plus a negative. 5 times what yields 10? Times 2. So we must multiply the numerator by that 2 as well. 49 times 2 is 98. Use scratch paper if necessary. So now we are ready to sum. The denominator remains the same, 10. When we are adding and the signs are different, simply subtract the numbers like you have your entire life. Coming over to our scratch paper, 98 minus 15, 3 and 8. We have 83. Now we must consider, is this positive or negative? Well, we had 15 positives and 98 negatives, so our result would be negative. We had more negatives than positives. We have negative 83 over 10. We should change this improper fraction back into a mixed number. 10 goes into 83, 8 whole times, with 3 left over. The left over we express over the denominator. The negative with the numerator is expressed with the whole part of the mixed number. Next problem. Number 3. Six and two-thirds divided by eight and one-fourth. Okay. Again, we will convert both of these mixed numbers into improper fractions. Six times three is 18, plus two is 20. 20 over three, keeping my divide. Eight times four is 32, and one is 33 over four. All right. When we divide and we're dealing with fractions, we keep, change, flip, keeping 20 over 3 the same, changing our division to a multiplication, flipping over the second fraction, 4 over 33. All right. When multiplying, we don't need a common denominator, but we should first consider any reducing that we might be able to do. Any denominator can reduce with any numerator. Unfortunately, we have no common factors. Multiplying straight across, 20 times 4 is 80. 3 times 33 is 99. Lastly, we should consider any reducing. Again, there are no common factors between 80 and 99. 
80 over 99 is close to 1. Since the numerator is smaller than the denominator, it's less than 1. But 80 is close to 99. This quotient is close to 1. Going back to our initial problem, we had 6 divided by 8. Well, 6 divided by 8 is 3 fourths, which is also close to 1. So we can see that 80 over 99 is a reasonable result. And that is all that we have for Monday. You should now be able to work problems one and four. Moving on to Tuesday. The next problem we will look at is number five. Number five says three and one third plus nine and one half. Three and one third plus nine and one half. All right, again, we will convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions. Three times three, nine plus one is ten. Ten over three. Plus 9 times 2, 18, plus 1, 19. 19 over 2. We must have a common denominator. The common denominator between 3 and 2 is 6. Again, 3 times 2 yielding 6. 3 times what gives 6? Times 2. What are we multiply the denominator? We multiply the numerator. 10 times 2, 20. 2 times what? 6 times 3. Likewise, the numerator. Multiplying 19 times 3, I'll come out to my scratch paper. 19 times 3. 3 times 9, 27. Carry my 2. 3 times 1, 3. Plus 2, 5. 19 times 3 is 57. We now have the common denominator of 6. Summing 20 and 57, we get 77. Now, 6 into 77, again to my scratch paper, 6 goes into 77. 6 into 7 once, 1 times 6, 6, subtracting, bringing down my 7. 6 into 17 twice, 2 times 6 is 12, subtracting is 5. This is my remainder. I express my remainder over my divisor of 6. So 77 over 6 is equivalent to 12 and 5 over 6. That is my final answer. Let us again consider reasonableness. Well, the initial was 3 and 1 third, 3 and a little, plus 9 and a half. What's 3 plus 9? 12. So we see 12 and 5, 6 is indeed a reasonable answer. Last one we do here will be problem number 8. Number eight says five and one third times six and one fifth. Okay, again, improper. Convert the mixed number to improper fraction. Five times three, 15, and one, 16. 16 over three times six times five, 30, and one, 31. 31 over five. All right. Consider, will any numerator cancel with any denominator? Unfortunately, we have no common factors, so we can multiply straight across. 3 times 5, 15. 31 times 16, to my scratch paper. 6 times 1, 6. 6 times 3, 18. 0 for placeholder. 1 times 1, 1. 1 times 3, 3. Summing, 6, 9, Four four hundred and ninety six. Four hundred and ninety six. Now we must consider how many times does fifteen go into four ninety six? Fifteen divides into four ninety six. Remember, a fraction is just a division problem. Top divide the bottom. Four ninety six divided by fifteen. Fifteen into forty nine three times. Three times fifteen is forty five. Subtracting, 9 minus 5 is 4. Bring down the 6. 
15 into 46, again, three times. Three times 45. Three times 15 is 45. Subtracting is one. This, again, is the remainder. This is the whole portion. This is the remainder. This is the divisor. 496 over 15 is the same as 33 and 1 15th. Lastly, we will consider reasonableness. Our initial problem was 5 and a little bit times 6 and a little bit. Well, 5 times 6 is 30. So we should suspect the answer is close to 30 but more. And 33, while I'm not sure if it is right, it is at least reasonable. 33 and 1 15th should be in the ballpark. You are now ready to complete the rest of the problems for Tuesday, which would be 6 and 7. 6 and 7.